cows. Moo, says the cow in the green meadow. Moo. The large, slow-moving cow chomps down on the green grass. Chomp, chomp, chomp. They love to eat grass. That's what cows do most of the day. The rest of the time, they chew their cud. Cud is a food that they cough up and then chew up again. Ew. Cows have big stomachs with four separate chambers. That helps when eating so much grass. These lucky cows are being fed hay from a tractor. Cows are much bigger than other farm animals. They come in all sorts of colors. Black, white, brown, and with spots. Some cows have lovely long hair. Did you know cows are actually all girls? And not all cows have horns, but they all have udders. Have you ever had milk on your cereal? Milk comes from a cow's udder. Udders have four teats. This is where the milk comes from. Male cows are actually called bulls. They have big horns, but no udder. And the babies are called calves. Not all cows live on farms. In India, cows are considered very special. There are lots and lots of cows there. They wander the streets and even hang out at the beach. While some cows in Austria have been known to dress up for beauty contests. <laughs> Penguins. Penguins are the best dressed animals on the planet. They're easy to spot. They look just like they're wearing tuxedos. They have a cute, elegant walk and can even say, How do you do? <coughs> but they also like to have fun sliding on their bellies. Penguins are the champions of sliding and swimming. It helps them escape their biggest predators, seals and orcas. They live in cold climates, in places such as Antarctica. That's why they have special feathers that keep them warm in water. Have you ever seen a penguin wearing a jumper? No, that would be silly. What else makes the penguin special? Well, they're a bird that can't fly. But they can swim just like a fish. So, what makes them a bird? Well, they still have a beak, wings, feathers, and lay eggs. Oh, look! Baby penguins! <laughs> sea turtles. Sea turtles are turtles that live in the sea. They can be found in most oceans, but they especially love warm, shallow water. Male sea turtles spend their whole life in the sea, so they're great swimmers. Their flippers are perfectly designed to glide them through the water. Females are great swimmers also, and only go on the land to lay eggs. They lay lots of eggs in sandy beach nests. When the cute little turtles hatch, they race to the water. Look at them go. What else can you notice about this sea turtle? That's right. Sea turtles have hard shells for protection. Their shells are very strong. Did you know? Leatherback sea turtles grow so big that they're as heavy as a small car, longer than a grown man, and can swim as deep as a submarine? Sea turtles eat everything from seagrass to jellyfish. Chomp, chomp, chomp. But sometimes they confuse plastic bags with food. So be careful where you throw your rubbish. Have you ever seen a pig at a farm? 
They have funny pink noses and curly little tails. Their noses are very good at sniffing out food. Oink, oink. Pigs are omnivores. That means they eat both meat and vegetables. Pigs love to splash in the mud to cool down. But they are actually very clean. Did you know pigs are very clever? They're even smarter than dogs. Daddy pigs are called boars. Mummy pigs are called sows. And little pigs are called piglets. Look at the cute piglets. <laughs> Giraffes. Giraffes always have the best view. Tall necks and long skinny legs. Giraffes tower above all their friends. Their large bulging eyes give them great all-round vision too. Giraffes' bodies are covered with wonderful orangey-brown spots. This works as great camouflage. You still have to be very careful when drinking, though. That's when they are most vulnerable to attack from other animals, like lions. Being so tall means they can eat from the tallest trees. Giraffes love to munch down thorny acacia trees. Luckily, their purple tongues are tough and covered in strong, bristly hair to protect them from the sharp thorns. Naughty male giraffes sometimes fight over girls. They do this by hitting their necks together. Their long necks crash into each other. Would you like to see how tall a giraffe is in real life? Yes, that would be impressive. <laughs> Sharks, silently stalking through the deep blue ocean, comes the sleek and scary shark. Sharks are large carnivorous fish with sharp teeth, a dorsal fin on their back, and strong, powerful tails so they can swim fast. There are lots of different sharks. Whale sharks are the biggest shark. They open their mouths really wide and eat lots of tiny plankton and krill. Whale sharks move relatively slow compared to other sharks. Like great white sharks, which are much faster, making them amazing hunting machines. Other smaller sharks live in the warm waters around coral reefs. And funny looking hammerhead sharks have heads that look like hammers. All sharks have gills which they use to breathe. They get oxygen from the water as it flows through their gills. This means they need to keep moving all of the time, even while they're sleeping. Baby sharks are called pups. When they're born, they're all alone and have to look after themselves. Some even have to be careful they don't get eaten by their mum. That's not very nice, is it? 
Would you like to swim the oceans like a majestic shark? Platypus. Where does the platypus fit in the animal kingdom? The platypus is from Australia. They're a funny mixture of a lot of different animals. They have a beak and webbed feet like a duck, a tail like a beaver, and fur that keeps them dry and warm like an otter. They're great swimmers and can hold their breaths for a long time. The platypus is very special, as they are a mammal like you and me, but they lay eggs like a bird. <laughs> they live in burrows beside fresh water, lakes, swamps, or creeks. This is where they lay their eggs. Have you ever seen a platypus? That would be really lucky, because they're very shy. Bald Eagles Bald Eagles are majestic, powerful hunting birds. They're a type of eagle with distinct colors. And despite their name, they actually aren't bald. They have lovely white feathers on their heads and tails, rich brown feathers on their body and wings, and yellow beaks. The young are called fledglings and they're all brown. Bald eagles are found in North America. They're the national animal of the United States of America and can be found on the Great Seal of the USA. Bald eagles live near the sea and lakes, in nests high up in trees. Their favorite food is fish. And soaring high into the air, they use their great eyesight to spot their next target. The eagle swoops down. Grasping a fish with her sharp talons. Watch out! Another cheek eagle is trying to steal her lunch. Oops. Splash! Another dropped fish. Finally, success for the hungry bird. High in the tree, the bald eagle eats the fish she's caught, while the other eagle will have to find her own lunch. Isn't the bald eagle a wonderful flying creature? Leopards. Sleek and powerful leopards are wonderful big cats. Leopards are wild animals that live in Africa and parts of Asia. They have cream and gold fur with black spots. Their spots make great camouflage for hiding in trees and sneaking up on prey. Leopards' tails are almost as long as their bodies. Their tails help with balance and are great for quick turns. Whoosh!
leopards are the smallest of the four big cats, which include lions, tigers, and jaguars. But they're much bigger than a regular house cat. Like the other big cats, they have a great roar. Leopards can do many things. They can run fast, they're great swimmers and climbers, and they're the best jumpers. During the day, leopards like to rest. High in a tree. Or on a warm rock. And at night, they're awake. This makes them a nocturnal animal. Leopards also prefer to be alone. They spend most their life without any friends. Poor lonely leopard. <laughs> black bears. Big, strong black bears are powerful animals. Most black bears have a lovely black coat with a light brown nose. They're a medium-sized bear that are smaller than grizzly bears, but bigger than a panda bear. They have sharp claws in their paws, which are great for climbing, and can be found in the forests of North America, Mexico, and Canada. In winter, black bears hibernate. This is when they sleep all winter, living off stored body fat from eating lots and lots. Black bears eat almost anything, from berries and fruit to salmon, small animals, and food they come across. Which means they're omnivores, like humans. They use their sensitive noses to smell food or other bears. Most black bears live alone, which means they are solitary animals. Cute baby bears are called cubs. They have great mums that look after them when they're little. Aren't black bear mums great? Oops, it's difficult to walk in the snow. Can you crawl like a black bear cub? <laughs> rhinos. Big, strong rhinos have long horns on their noses. They are the second largest land mammal. Only elephants are bigger. Did you know? Rhino is short for rhinoceros, and the word rhinoceros means nose horn. Rhinos live in groups called a crash or herd in Africa and Asia. What would you think a tough-looking rhino might eat? Wildebeest, maybe? No. Rhinos are herbivores, which means they graze on grass and small vegetation. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Can you see their thick, wrinkly skin? It's so thick, it acts to protect them. And their horns are made of a material which is very similar to your hair or fingernails. Young rhinos, or calves, are very cute. They also have small horns and love to jump around.
Would you like to see a wild rhino? Me too. We'll all have to do our best to look after them. Chameleon. What's a chameleon? Just the coolest animal ever. Why? Because it's like a lizard with superpowers. Superpowers? Yes. It has the ability to change colors. This way it becomes invisible. Perfect to bring your pet to class. But shh. So, where do they live? Well, most of them live on an island called Madagascar, but you can generally find them where it's hot, from the rainforest to the desert. They like heat. It's a shame they only eat bugs. Imagine how fast they'd eat up ice creams with their extrudable tongue. You know what their other superpower is? They can look in two different directions at the same time. It's very handy for chameleons. They can look for food while climbing trees with their small, tong-like feet. So, would you like to have a chameleon for a pet? Yeah, me too. <laughs> hippos. Large, barrel-shaped hippos with stubby legs can be found in Africa. Hippos' bodies are mainly hairless, apart from some scratchy whiskers on their noses. They are the third largest land mammal. Behind elephants and rhinos, that is. The name hippo is short for hippopotamus, which means river horse. This is because hippos love to spend lots of time splashing about in water. Here's one, keeping her head cool. Don't forget to breathe. These hungry hippos are munching on some yummy river plants. Munch, munch, munch. Hippos are herbivores. That means they eat lots of plants and graze on grass when on land. That was a big yawn. Hippos have huge mouths. Open wide, Mr. Hippo. Look, we can see the impressive front teeth. The male uses these to fight. Did you know a male hippo is called a bull? A female is called a cow. And a baby hippo is called a calf. While hippos might look cuddly, they can be dangerous, so be careful. And they can run faster than a human. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Meerkats. Meerkats are small squirrel-sized critters that come from the mongoose family. Cute furry little meerkats have pointy brown noses, stripy backs, a long thin tail to help with standing, and dark brown patches around their binocular vision eyes. Meerkats forage for a variety of food each day. 
scratching around in the sand, they look for insects like beetles, spiders, and scorpions, or small reptiles, birds, eggs, and fruit. Living in large family groups of up to 40, called mobs or gangs, they have amazing teamwork. While the mob forages, some of the meerkats, called sentries, keep a lookout for the others. They stand tall while their heads dart around, searching for predators. The sentries let out a loud squeal if they see something, and everyone runs to the safety of the burrow. Meerkat burrows contain lots of entrances, tunnels, and rooms. Inside the burrow, babysitters take turns looking after young meerkats called pups. Meerkats use the large curved claws on their fingers to dig their elaborate homes. Did you know meerkats worked so well together as a team? I bet you can do the same with your family and friends. Goats, perched perilously on craggy mountain rocks, steps the brave mountain goat. Mountain goats are great climbers. They're curious and intelligent creatures that love to explore. They are awesome rock-hopping jumpers. And they even climb trees. Domesticated goats live on farms. They produce milk, butter, and yummy goat's cheese. Goats have coarse hair, short bushy tails, horns, and little goaty beards. Did you know that goat's eyes have horizontal pupils? They're different from your pupils, which are round, or a cat's pupils, which are vertical. A male goat is called a buck or billy. Females are called does, and baby goats are called kids. Goats bleat to say hello. Ah, can you bleat like a goat? Very good. Moose. Moose live in warm to cold climates across North America and Europe. With big muscular shoulders, skinny legs, a slender rump, and a stubby little tail, they are the largest member of the deer family. They stand taller than a horse. Moose have long, funny faces and a strong, flexible upper lip. Under their chin is a furry, floppy bit of skin called a bell. They love to eat small plants, vegetation, and underwater plants. A female moose is called a cow. And a young moose is called a calf. Cows are very good mothers. They never let their calves get too far away. While they're young, the calves drink milk from their mothers. A male moose is called a bull. Can you spot the difference between a bull and a cow? Yes, a bull has antlers. Antlers are wonderful horns that look like tree branches. Male moose grow their antlers at the end of summer. They use them to fight other moose. The antlers then drop off or shed before winter, ready to grow back the next year. 
Don't moose have fascinating features? What an amazing animal. Bunny rabbits. What's a bunny rabbit? Well, they're probably one of the cutest animals going around. Bunny rabbits are small, fluffy fellows. They have thick, soft fur with big floppy ears, long whiskers, and twitchy noses. Their strong back legs are great for jumping, and their short tails bob up and down as they go. Hop, hop, hop. A female rabbit is called a doe. A male is called a buck, and baby rabbits are called kits or kittens. Rabbits have big families that live underground in a group of burrows called a warren. They can be great pets. Just make sure you have lots of carrots and vegetables to feed them. This pet rabbit, Ralph, is famous because he's the biggest in the world. Wow, that's a big bunny. Can you think of another famous bunny rabbit? Yes, that's right. The Easter Bunny. Shh. Is that the Easter Bunny coming? <laughs> sea otters. Sea otters are small, playful pranksters that live in the ocean. They have long, slim bodies, short limbs, a small tail and webbed paws. Sea otters are closely related to land animals like weasels, badgers, and minks. But sea otters spend most of their time in cold water. That's why they have a really thick coat of fur. Their fur lets absolutely no water through, just like a raincoat. Sea otters love nothing better than to float on their backs and roll around. Look at me. Hey, Mom, look at me. I can tumble. Did you know sea otters are one of the few animals that use tools? They use rocks to smash open sea mollusks. Isn't that clever? And they love to play and groom each other's coats. Oh, hello. How's your coat looking? Whee! Yes, yes. Looking good. Lying on the beach and chilling out with a bit of head scratching is fun too. When sea otters rest, they lie together in a big group called a raft. And they hold hands so no one floats away. That's very cute. <laughs> Dogs. Hairy, friendly dogs with wagging tails are great workers and friends for people. In fact, that's why they're called man's best friend. For a long, long time, dogs have lived with humans. And they've helped in many ways. Dogs have lent a paw to farm work, hunting, security, and even assisting people with disabilities, like guide dogs who help blind people. They also make great pals for people and families. They love to play and fetch balls. and go for long walks. There are lots of different types of dogs. These are called breeds. Some example breeds include the Loyal Labrador, the Tough English Bulldog, the Fast Greyhound, the Huge Saint Bernard, the Excited Boxer, the Hardworking Border Collie, and the wonderful Cocker Spaniel with big floppy ears. 
Dogs are very smart animals, and they have much better hearing and sense of smell than people. Do you know the name of cute baby dogs? Yes, they're called puppies. Foxes. Foxes are small mammals with an orange coat and bushy tail. They're native to Britain, but can now be found all over the world. They're distant relatives with dogs and wolves, but live in small family groups instead of packs. And like all omnivores, they can eat almost anything. Cunning foxes are great hunters. Carefully. The fox sneaks up on its prey. What a wonderful leap! Foxes have amazing hearing, meaning they can listen for prey under the snow. With another great leap, the fox is able to hunt for mice deep beneath the snow. Male foxes are called dogs. Female foxes are called vixens, and baby foxes are called cubs. Foxes have comfy burrows for homes. Here's a small cub coming out of her burrow. Doesn't she have lovely black feet? And a great furry coat. Do you know what noise a fox makes? Well, they can make several. They can yelp, bark, growl, and whine. Just like this. <coughs> Ew. That's not a nice noise, is it? <laughs> Click on the videos above to see more amazing animals. And be sure to subscribe.